Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here again with another 1994 Marlins game for you in their Marlin in my Marlins season. Um, I will go ahead and play day because we are going to be the manual game. And you can see that we have uh, Mark Gardner on the mound for us. Going up against Pedro Martinez of the San Diego uh, Padres. So for us, we're going to have Chuck Carr in center field, Jerry the Governor Brown at third, Sheffield in right, Conine at left, Santiago at catcher, Magadan at first base, Kurt Abbott at shortstop, Brett Barbary at second, and Batting ninth will be Mark Gardner, the pitcher. For the Padres, they will have uh, Bip Roberts leading off and playing second base, Brad Osmus at catcher, Tony Gwynn in right, Derek Bell in center, I think that's Derek Bell, uh, Phil Plantier in left, uh, Scott Livingstone at third base, Gutierrez at short, Cian Frock go at first base and Martinez at pitcher so uh, without any further delay let's get on with the game and that's just the weather conditions for today <clears throat> And you can see Pedro, a young Pedro Martinez um, out there, and Chuck Carr leading off against him. And the game it looks like it's uh, still in Florida. No, this is in uh, this is in San Diego. Yeah, this is in San Diego. That's old Jack Murphy Stadium. And Jerry the Governor Brown with one down. And I have remembered to take the sound off and not record the computer audio. So there should be no fan interference or, you know, crowd noise or anything overpowering me, which is good because I have a little bit of a cold now. And so my voice is a little raspy. You might have noticed. Anyway, Sheffield is up with Brown at first base. And he walks, and so that gives way to Conine. Conine with two runners on. This is a good situation for the main man. And he looks like he lifted it in the air and maybe out of the park. Did he? Did he? Yes. Three-run home run for us. Nice. And we're up 3-0 on San Diego just like that. And Uncle Benito strikes out, and that brings up Magadan with two down. And Magadan rips it right through the hole between second and first, and he's got a base hit, and Kurt Abbott's up. So Pedro is down early. Of course, this was a young Pedro um, in 1994. And now there he is, the main man, Mark Gardner, dealing to Bip Roberts. Bip Roberts in the photo, of course, with the Kansas City Royals, but was well known and more better known, in my opinion, for being on the Padres. Here's Brad Osmus, the former um, uh, Tigers manager. And I think he was on the Tigers, might have been. Tony Gwynn is up with one down, a man at first, and that's Bip Roberts. And Gwynn hits the ball deep, car going back on it, and I think he's going to make the play, and he does. And that is indeed Derek Bell. Derek Bell, the man who said he was going into Operation Shutdown <laughs> when he was mad about something, and uh, that was the last we saw of him. So Brett Barbary is up at the plate for us to lead off the second inning with the Marlins leading 3 nothing. And uh, that was a foul tip, maybe. And Brett Barbary, is he going shopping at the Gap or just a, a home run? It's shopping at the Gap with a triple. And now Gardner is up. I'm just going to let Gardner hit. 
I'm not going to try to do a suicide squeeze or anything crazy like that. But Gardner puts the ball in the air and maybe over. Whoa, whoa. All right. Well, that was a deep fly ball that scored a run anyway. And it is for nothing. With Chucky Carr, our leadoff man, getting out again. And uh, that brings up Jerry the Governor Brown with two down. Two down for Jerry the Governor Brown. He's going to, looks like, maybe fly out to Bell, but maybe not. No, he did. So Gardner's going to lead off the bottom uh, you know, on the mound against the uh, Padres in the bottom of the second against Phil Plantier. I think I remember Phil Plantier had a really crazy, like, crouch type of a thing going on. And uh, in his in his batting stance, and uh, he is aboard with Scott Livingstone, Doctor Livingstone, I presume. And he's going to hit the ball kind of up the middle, but they do get the out at second on a fielder's choice, and that brings up a Ricky Gutierrez with Livingstone at first base and one down. Hoping uh, I can get some innings out of uh, Gardner, and really with a four nothing lead, maybe I can. See in front go. What happened there? How was that an out? Man, that was a bullet drive. But I guess Abbott got in front of it and caught it. Arky see in Frocco is out, and we're back up at the plate, top of the third. We've scored the first and second. Let's see if we can score in the third as well. Uh, with Sheffield leading off against Pedro, a young Pedro. And he walked. I think that, isn't that his second walk? I think he's uh, 0 for 0 this game with two walks. And Conine, who homered last time he was up, he's 1 for 1 with a jack and three RBIs. But he is going to, uh, he's going to line out and Santiago is up. 0 for 1 on the day as he got out in the first inning, but he lifts this one up in the air, but it looks like it's going to be the plantier. And he is out and Magadan's up. Lefty on lefty. And that is going to be an out. And we go back. That is our first zero inning of the game. We go to the bottom of the third with Gardner pitching against Pedro. Martinez, let's see if they take him out. No, they don't. And Pedro is out. Bip Roberts is up with one down. The Bipster looks like he might have a double here, a double down the line, and he does. Brad Osmus is up. Hoping we can keep him off the board this inning. And no, we can't because that's a double down the line. Got past Magadan, and so Gwyn is up with a man at second, and now we're ahead only 4-1 to one instead of 4 nothing. And can Abbott make that play? No, he cannot. Gwynn has an infield hit, and Derek Bell is at the plate. And he is going to hit a slow grounder to second base, and that's an error on the second baseman, Barbary, and it allows another run to score. And now it's 4-2, to two, still only one out, but now runners are at second and third with Plantier up. Plantier grounds to, um, oh my God, another error by Barbary at second base. So now it's 4-3. Now all of that work that we did, and yeah, it's now completely evaporated, and it's 4-4 with a single up the middle by Livingstone, and now Ricky Gutierrez is up at the plate. Did he at least strike out? No, he walked. So now the bases are full with one out. Gardner continuing to stay in trouble. And no, that's a wild pitch. Gardner is tired. Well, you know, guess what? He's going to have to get through this inning at least. And there's a fly ball by Cianfrocco, which might be a fly ball into the stands for a home run. And it is. It's a three-run jack. And the Padres have not only clawed their way all the way back, but they are just schooling Mark Gardner right here. There's a strikeout by Martinez, so there's two down this inning. But 
San Diego is now ahead 8-4. And we will take a look. Stay tuned because we're going to take a look at the standings after this game. We did not do it before the game. I usually do that. But I was thrown off kilter a little bit um, this time. But um, Abbott uh, got aboard and now Brett Barbary is up. We're in the uh, top of the fourth. And let's see what Barbary can do. Is that a base hit? No, it's an out. Mark Gardner is up. This is a perfect time to take Mark Gardner out of the game. Uh, we are batting against Martinez. He's a lefty who's a 1R. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. But um, we're going to do Colburn. Colburn was a good hitter. Greg Colburn will pinch hit. And Greg Colbrin, is he going to get a? Is he going to lift that to center for a hit? Uh, no. And then Chucky Carr, Chucky Carr up at the plate. Come on, man, he's 0 for two on the day, and he does walk. And now that brings up the governor Jerry Brown, and that's an, on by an error. And Sheffield, come on, Chef, you could put us right back in this game. Sheffield against Martinez, and uh, no, he's out. But Coburn came on to pinch hit, so what I'm thinking is maybe, uh, who was the last batter? Who's the first baseman? Magadan is the first baseman, so I don't know that we want to do that. Um, yeah. Can Colburn play? No, he can't play anywhere else. So we are going. But you know what, though? I could put him in. <sighs> yeah, but I can't. All right, all right. So I'm just going to have to go get a relief pitcher, and that's going to be Luis Aquino. And he will be the new pitcher. Luis Aquino on the mound facing Brad Osmus here in the bottom of the fourth with the Padres up 8-4. It was impressive that we scored four runs, I think, so far in this game. But um, now Osmus, did he go deep? No, he doubled. So they got a leadoff double from Osmus with Tony Gwynn up. Luis Aquino already in trouble, and in, in a lot of trouble. Runners are at the corners with Derek Bell at the plate. And that is going to be a walk, and that's going to load him up for Plantier, this time with no outs. I mean, at least when Mark Gardner did it, there was an out already. Magadan should be able to play that. And it's a, he threw home and it's a double play, a 3-2-3 double play. Nice. Absolutely, we needed that, and Livingstone is up. And that should be a grounder to Magadan that he handles, and he does. So Conine is up the plate, leading off the fifth. We're down by four to Pedro A. Martinez. So I don't know if that's the Pedro Martinez, although it could be. I don't know. And he's out. One down, Santiago up. Santiago hits a slow roller between first and second, but he's out. And then Magadan up. And Magadan hits it into the gap. Maybe a home run. Maybe a double. He dropped it. It's an E8. So he's safe at second on an error by Derek Bell. And now Abbott... I don't think can get him home. So we still did not score there. We're going to the bottom of the fifth. Luis Aquino still out there pitching to Ricky Gutierrez. And that's going to be a strikeout? Yes. And then Cianfarki Cianfarco is up and hopefully grounding out. And he is grounding out. And Pedro Martinez, this should do it. The pitcher. 
but the pitcher gets a hold of one, but it's probably going to be a fly out check. And it is. So we're still down by four, top of the sixth, Barbary up at the plate. And that is going to be a ground out. Luis Aquino, I'm going to let him pitch and stay in and hit because I need innings out of him. And he's out and Chuck Carr is up. And it'll probably prove to have been uh, not a terrible decision anyway, as we really didn't get anything going. Bip Roberts is going to pop out. I mean, Aquino, except for the when he first came on, Aquino has been pitching well. That's a pop out to Barbary. So there's one down in Osmus, who is two for three with two doubles. This guy has been a fire in our face. And he's going to hit it deep to Carr, but I think Carr can play that right. And he does. It's an out, and Tony Gwynn, who is also two for three, but you would expect that from Gwynn. You wouldn't expect it from Osmus. And he looks like he'll fly out to Sheffield. And he does. And so now we got the governor, Jerry Brown, leading off for us, top of the seventh. We're down by four. Got to have some runs. Got. I mean, one. Come on, guys. One, two, something. Just let's start clawing our way back. A.J. Sager is out there on the mound, though, right now for San Diego, the new pitcher. And uh, with one down, Sheffield up. Sheffield hits it between short and third, but he's out. And Conine, who is one for three with a home run today, is out. And he is also going to be out. So we are going to make a change at pitcher right now. Um, let me go to visitor and the last out was Conine and he is a left fielder so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the new pitcher Perez in for Conine except he's going to be the um, the pitcher and we are going to put a new left fielder in for Aquino. I should have checked to make sure I have one of those. And I do. We have uh, <coughs> Carrillo. So we will put him in at uh, left field for Conine. Double switch, and off we go with Yorkis Perez pitching. This is his first appearance of the year, apparently, and he'll be facing Derek Bell to lead it off. And that is going to be an infield hit for Derek Bell with Plantier up at the plate. And that's going to be a fly ball. Hopefully Carr can get that because it's shallow. And he does make the catch. So there's one down. Scott Livingstone, I presume, is up. And he's going to hit a slow roller to second base between second and first. But it is an out. It's a fielder's choice. And now you've got Livingstone at first with Gutierrez up and two down. Yorkis Perez not pitching too badly here. And that's an out. So now we're back up at the plate, top of the eighth. We're down by four. We got to have four runs. Come on, guys. Santiago against A.J. Sager. You got to believe A.J. Sager wasn't a tough customer. But that's a fly out to Plantier, so there's one down and Magadin up at the plate. And Magadin is going to fly out to Gwyn, it looks like. And he, no, he doesn't. Gwyn can't get to it. So Magadin is safe with Kurt Abbott up. And it is a double, no, it's a fielder's choice. So Abbott's safe and Barbary is up with Abbott a board and two down. And that's going to be a ground out to shortstop. And it is. And York is Perez pitching to Cianfraco in the bottom of the eighth. If we can't get four runs on the top of the ninth, this is going to be it. But Sager is up. They're going to pinch hit for him predictably with Eddie Williams. And uh, Sager pitched really great for them today. And Bip 
Bipster is two for four with a double and two down here. And the base is empty. And there's a fly ball out to Carr. He should be able to handle that, and he does. So here we go. Matthias Carrillo is going to bat for himself against their closer, Trevor Hoffman. Hell's Bells played as he came in, and we've got Chuck Carr up. Chuck Carr grounding the ball between short and third. Is he going to be safe? He is not. He's out. So it's up to the Jerry Governor Brown. And he hits the ball maybe over Bell's head for a double or maybe a home run. It is a double. Sheffield's up. We're still alive here. And he hits it right up the middle. I'm going to hold because we need four runs. We don't need just one. And, oh, I let Yarkis Perez hit. That was a bad idea. I just pulled the trigger a little too quickly there, not thinking, and he's going to fly out to Gwynn. I mean, at least he got the bat on the ball. But really, were we going to come back and score four runs? You got to think no. So apparently our record on the year is 0-4, and, and the Padres are 4-1 and with that win. So... There's the uh, box score for you. You can take a quick look at that. Got a lot of bad batting averages um, in this lineup. Sheffield is hitting quite well. Magadan is holding his own, but really not good. So let's look at, as I promised, let's look at the uh, look at the stats here. You can see we're 0 and 4. Picking up the rear, I think by this time we had at least one win, possibly two. No, we had one. You can see in the actual wins to date column, we were one and three. So I'm only a game off the pace, but uh, I mean, when you're a game off the pace with a team that really wasn't that good anyway, it's probably not good. So, and again, remember this was a strike shortened season. So at some point, the counter on the uh, actual win-loss record is going to stop, and we're going to keep going past it. So uh, I guess the only comfort we can take is that the Cubs <coughs> are also 0-4. Uh, but that's about it. Well, no, and Pittsburgh is 1-3. Pittsburgh's 1-3. They're not very good either. And so is St. Louis. Surprisingly, St. Louis is 1-3. So that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.